This is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com and today I want to ask you a question. What is the difference between track back and back to start? That question was brought up by a few people on the website and YouTube channel and I've done some research on it plus all the testing I've done and I have an answer for you. But before I tell you about it, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So this is what I found out personally. Now I've talked to Garmin, the Garmin technician this week, and this is, the, basically I'll just start with this. Back to start and track back are very similar. They're going to take you back to your starting location to get you back to safety. But there is a little difference. And so when I was out testing, I noticed a few things. And one time I was out and I didn't set any tracking. I didn't navigate and I just took off hiking. And then I then, when I was out, I was like, oh, oh then I wanted to go back to start. On the Mini 2, it puts down hidden tracks. So I was able to then navigate back to start, but it only puts like one track down every 10 minutes. And those tracks disappear after 24 hours. They're temporary hidden tracks. Now, every device is different. And on the Explorer Plus the 67i, there are differences in these. And uh, the 67i doesn't put down hidden tracks. Only the Mini 2 does. But when I was going out on the Mini 2 without starting any tracking, I got to my turnaround. I turned around. I then hit navigation, and it came up with back, not back to start. It said track back. So I did another test this last week and I set tracking. Now I always recommend you track because it will help you to find your way back because it gives you more detail on your the path that you took. And then if other people are watching that you've shared on the map share with, then they can see where you're at also. But I tracked out, I wasn't navigating, I was just had tracking on. And then I got out and then I stopped tracking. When I hit stop tracking, it gave me the option that says back to start. So I hit back to start and it showed my detailed trail of how I came in. And again, just like track back, it'll take you back to your starting point. Then I think it was actually this last weekend too, the very same day I did another test and I navigated. Well, when I navigated out and then I stopped the navigation, I didn't want to stop tracking because if you're lost, you definitely don't want to stop tracking because you want people to see where you're at, especially if you shared the map share link with them. Or even for yourself, if you're still tracking, you'll see a detailed track of where you've been. So don't stop tracking. But in that case, I stopped navigation and then it gave me the option of track back. So I was able to track back to my start, but then it showed the, the tracking points too. It showed me tracking out all my, the path where I went and it showed coming back. So that's really the difference. The, the bottom line, uh, first of all, is, is test it yourself. Do your own research. Confirm what I'm saying. Don't just take my advice for it. But what I have seen is that the back to start will show up when you're just tracking. And track back will show up if you never tracked or if you navigated. That's really the difference. And so say if you, if it's, let's just keep it more simple. If you are tracking, you're going to see back to start. If you're navigating, you're going to see track back. Now I could get a little more detailed with this and say, well, you might be able to see both options. I don't want to get into that and confuse anybody, but that's what I have seen. It's just keep it simple. Track back for navigation, back to start if you're tracking. That's what I have seen, and that's what Garmin also confirmed. If you have any questions, thoughts, advice, or you want to correct something I've said, please leave a comment below, and I'll respond really quick because this, all this information, whether I'm saying something correct or have made a mistake, this will help me in the future to make better videos and to teach other people uh, more and more accurately uh, about what these devices will do. Well, thanks for joining me here on Hiking Emergency Beacon. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. And I'll see you back out here in Colorado in the next video.